Hey, my cake baking friends. My name is Nikki Carpenter and I'm the 4th JJ in Burke County. And today we're gonna make marshmallow fondant. So I have already pre-washed my hands and I have already pre-measured my ingredients. So follow along. First thing is we have a bag, 10 ounce bag of mini marshmallows and two tablespoons of water. Now after I put the water on, we're just gonna warm this in the microwave for one minute. Okay, so now we're gonna get our marshmallows out of the microwave. Be sure to always use your mitts for safety. Your items in the microwave could be very hot. So as you can see, our marshmallows are kind of glossy and almost a little runny. So let's see how we're doing. All right, your marshmallows should almost look like a fluff. And ours did very well. So I'm just gonna incorporate all the marshmallows and make sure there's no more lumps. And I'm doing kind of a fold process where I take the spatula and scoop underneath the marshmallow and bring it back to the top. This will help from deflating the marshmallow so we can keep it nice and fluffy. Okay, so that looks nice and incorporated. So what I'm gonna do now is slowly start adding some of our powdered sugar. We have pre-measured four cups of powdered sugar, or you may know it as confectioner sugar. So I'm slowly gonna start putting some scoops of it in so I can incorporate a little at a time. Okay guys, so I have put the rest of the powdered sugar in and I'm gonna show you how we finish this up before our kneading process. So as you can see, it still has a little bit of stickiness to it, but it's starting to come together almost like a, um, a ball of dough um, and almost a Play-Doh texture. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and bring this out to our surface. Just use the spatula and scrape as much as you can from the bowl. And then I'll put my bowl in the sink with some warm water so that it can start soaking the fondant um, sugar mixture off of the bowl. All right, so I scraped everything out there. Now, we're gonna do a kneading process where you're gonna press down with your hands and fold. Now during this process, if it were to get too sticky, you can add some extra powdered sugar to your surface. Um, you can also use a little bit of that flavorless oil on your hands um, to keep from sticking. So the kneading process to get it the right consistency will take seven to 10 minutes. So we're gonna do that now. Okay friends, so we have our fondant pretty much together. We have kneaded for about seven to 10 minutes. And as you can see, it is in a nice dough ball form. The texture feels very similar to Play-Doh. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna divide it up and color your fondant. So the easiest way is just to pinch off, just as you would Play-Doh. Um, and I like to just make a couple different little ball um, structures. And then for our food coloring, we're gonna use a gel food coloring. Um, I feel that it works a little bit better with our fondant. And um, we're gonna show you how to knead that color in.
Hey guys, so you saw my co-host um, adding color to our fondant and he made us a beautiful yellow and pink and we're also keeping some white for our decorations. So until we're ready to actually decorate our cake, we're going to store these. So to store your fondant, um, you can take a, just any kind of baggie and you want to keep a light coating of oil on it so that it doesn't dry out. And then you can just leave it at room temperature. Um, there we go. And as you can see, we have some pre-colors already made. We're going to add our white. And then that is how you make marshmallow fondant, how you can store your fondant. And join us for our buttercream videos and our cake decorating video. We will need our buttercream to hold our fondant onto our cake. So we'll see you soon. Thanks.